Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Here's an interesting question. Can we find the ratio of the area of a circumscribed square, such as the one in green, to the area of the inscribed square, such as the one in blue, if we don't know any of the dimensions? Now remember, a ratio just means basically a fraction. So what we're looking for is the area of C divided by the area of I. And the only thing they have in common is that they're related in some way to the circle in black. Now, the only dimension that we really need for a circle is the radius. We're going to look at the relationship between the radius and the size of each of the squares. Now, if I go and label the radius R and find all the measurements of the areas, that seems a little abstract. It turns out that we could actually label the radius any value that we want and we're always going to get the same ratio in the end. So just to make it a little easier, I'm gonna go ahead and just label my radius as one. So drawing my radius from the center of the circle to the outside edge, I chose to draw it in such a way that it connects to the far corner, the upper right corner of the blue square, the inscribed square. That way we can see how this dimension relates to the size of the square. Since the center of the square is the same as the center of the circle, we can see that the radius is half the diagonal of the square, which means that the full diagonal of the square is going to have a length of 2. In other words, the diameter of the circle, 2, is the same as the diagonal of the blue square. Also notice that that diagonal forms a right triangle, and this right triangle is going to have two legs of unknown length, but they're the same length, so let's call them each x. Using the Pythagorean theorem then, we know that x squared plus x squared is equal to 2 squared, or in other words, 2x squared equals 4. This means that x squared has to be 2, or in other words, x is either the positive or negative square root of 2, but in this case we're talking about a length, so it would be the square root of 2. Now what we're interested in is the area, but we just found the dimensions. Since each side of the inscribed square has a length of square root of 2, the area is square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is 2. So now we have the area of the inscribed square. Let's find the area of the circumscribed square. To do that, we need to look at the relationship between the radius of the circle and the size of the circumscribed square in green. This time, I'm going to redraw the radius so it goes from the center of the circle, which is also the center of the circumscribed square, to the edge of the circle where it meets the circumscribed square. Since the center of the circle is in the center of the square, we see that the radius, which is 1, is going to extend from the center of the square downward and upward. In other words, the diameter of the circle, 2, is the same as the distance across the square, by the way, in either direction. This means that each side of our square has a length of 2. But we're interested in the area. The area of the circumscribed square, then, is 2 times 2, which is 4. This means that our ratio is 4 to 2, which reduces to 2 to 1. Now by working it out this way, I've really only proven that the ratio is 2 to 1 when the radius is 1. But you can imagine removing that fact and just using r for the radius. Then it would turn out that the area of the inscribed square is 2r squared, the area of the circumscribed square is 4r squared, and the ratio will still be 4r squared over 2r squared, which reduces to 2 to 1. So it doesn't really matter what size the circle happens to be. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below.